Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to cover a new app that has just been released for iOS and Android. Um, it is by BitTorrent Labs and it is called Sync. And this is a really cool app. <clears throat> it's kind of like Dropbox uh, except it's um, using your storage on your computer uh, instead of putting it in the cloud. So you have unlimited um, well, I guess you're limited to whatever your local computer has. <clears throat> and um, this will install on your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad, your Android device, your tablets, that kind of stuff. And it will install on your Mac, your Windows, and even Linux boxes. And like Dropbox, it kind of creates a shared folder or a sync folder on your device. And uh, we're at the website right now, labsbittorrent.com. And then you can see the URL in the video here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this started downloading here. So I'm just going to click this download button. And we're going to go for Mac OS X. And there she goes on downloads. And we're not going to subscribe. And let's check the downloads. And we're going to launch this. So what this is going to do is it's going to, it's going to create a, a shared folder, basically, uh, that you're going to sync with. Now, you can actually create more than the one folder. Um, I'm going to install it. We're just going to drag it over here to the applications and let that install. If that did it, did that finish it up? It should have launched. There we go. There it is. And let's open it up. Now, as you see on this install screen, it says I have a secret. Um, that is, you can do like a, this is kind of like a, a public key. I don't know if you guys are into SSL or encryption or anything, but this is kind of like, um, we're a PGP, pretty good privacy, where you have a key and someone else has a key and you share it. And then you've got like a secure connection. This is kind of like that. If you want to share a folder and give someone just read rights or full privileges and you give them the secret, uh, then they get access to the folder for whatever permissions you set up. Uh, the same thing on like an iPhone. Say you want to back up your camera, your photo gallery on your iPhone. Um, it'll create a secret. You'll come back. You'll create a secret with the, the backup folder on your desktop and then they're kind of like in a secure connection. They're paired and your pictures will go straight from your phone to your computer. Um, so that's kind of a nice little thing here. So we're just going to do a standard setup and then I've read and agree. And you can rename the folder here. We're just going to do choose. And probably let's just say in my documents, so create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this MacBook Pro. That way I know when I'm looking from other devices that this is my MacBook Pro, not my iMac, not a Windows machine. And uh, go from there and we'll select this folder and we'll say next. And there is the secret. And we will do skip the tour. All right. So now we actually have a folder out here that is zero bytes in size. Um, you can see it. And uh, what I'll get with, uh, I'll switch over to the camera view. But in this point, um, you can look at devices and see there's nothing connected. There are no transfers. There hasn't been any history. And if you go to preferences, um, it's just some easy, like, start it, uh, sync when Mac starts check for updates, yada, yada, yada. There's not a lot in here. Um, this here, never really messed with it, so I don't really do advanced preferences. So let's go back to folders, and what you're going to do here is you're going to right-click, so just hold down uh, Control and right-click on your mouse, and you can copy the secret and share that and give, give just private access to this, or you can connect it to a mobile device, and that's what we're going to do, because I would like my iPhone to be able to send files to this folder or if I wanted to copy files from this folder to my iPhone or my iPad yada yada um, you gotta do a kind of a pairing so you click connect mobile and what you get is a K 
QR code. And don't worry, I'm going to delete this folder, so if you try to scan this QR code, you will have nothing out of it. So you can give full access or read-only. You scan this with your um, phone or your tablet, and it immediately, um, once you've installed the Sync app from the uh, Android store or the um, iOS store, then it's going to create a share and uh, link this and then you can actually copy files to and from. So that's uh, this part of the video where I'm covering the desktop setup. This is pretty simple and uh, i go over just a couple more options here. Open the sync archive and show folder preferences. Really not a lot going on there. This is just the archive and we've done nothing here. So um, that that's pretty much the desktop setup of it for the Mac OS X. Um, I'll be right back and I will show you the, uh, we'll do it on my iPhone and then I'm also going to do a demonstration of a file transfer between an Android and an iOS device. So we'll do, uh, we're going to send a file from uh, a Galaxy S4 to an iPhone 5 and you can see how that works as a uh, kind of a sharing peer-to-peer -peer kind of thing. Really kind of cool stuff here. So I'll be right back guys. Thanks for tuning in so far.